Amananam, Enyana Bassi Amananam, Aye, Amananam, Enyana Bassi Amanan Sonso. Way for my knee cannot carry my body. My husband, we waited on the Lord. I tried to apply one thing or the other in medication, but it was on Sunday. The Lord touched me. I can use the leg. In fact, it's worse in the night. I'll be holding something to walk. But that Sunday, I walked uprightly. My husband said, My wife, you came here with your leg. We are going to go back. You will be yourself. Praise the Lord. But on that Sunday, as a man of God pre uh, preached, he said, whatever is your problem, as you have been prayed, give the glory to God. And actually, the Lord delivered me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister, Praise. can you much? Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Come together for Jesus. And the miracle have taken place. The problem on the nail is gone and gone forever. Put your hand together for Jesus. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm here to introduce this, um, our brother, standing here. Incidentally, I know him. He's from the district, the local church where I worship. For two years now, he has been crawling on the ground. He has never stood upright. But right on this crucial ground, two years probably vanished by the power of the Almighty God. Let us hear his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to see young Jesus Christ. We are going to see him. We are going to see him move on me. I can recall Sunday, Basi. I go to Basi. Go for it. Group of district. Akwaibom State, Uyo region, Nigeria. Uba ngonye na basi Kenyong Jesus Christ. Aji na me mana nte aji na kwenye ngoma mana very fine. It's a boy of thirty something years now. Amana sanga kuno wo. Aji ora twenty years, twenty five ukwai nama. But all of the sudden, asi sanga ngi na sanga aduo, asi sanga aduo. Eka ufori bok enam test eno usoba. But at the tail end of it all, Adi Tsangan Kedong, Ikanabadi de Kenda, is up to seven years now. Tungake can Sunday Basi Ekena Kisongan Yon. But by the special grace of God, Mpong Uwemeyo, when the pastor was stopped preaching, when the program was stopped on, he was reeling all over this place. When the father discourages him not to come, and yet the, I will still go. Daddy, program me going again and think. I'm a dear boss and point a peke. I yos and if I yos and it am point a peke. A table to men suk the other do. At the daddy, book a program me going again. I need him for one. I want a basimun young one. I don't got to wear my yodo. I can't have a of Osha. I don't know In fact, right from yesterday, he came around 12 midday. Amen. Praise the Lord. The lady has testified that succession of his heart. He has been the Lord honored his faith. Walking on his knees. He has risen up seven years. 
he has even due to walked. a problem praise the name that of the lord doctors could not even diagnose praise the lord progressive weakness online. of his muscles the muscles of the lower limb we have so much that he could not walk anymore online but when he came to this ground different locations he expected to receive a miracle the power of god In has fact, been released right I from this yesterday one from State, he came around that is 12 coming from sister fumi who has been suffering from eye problem from childhood but after the prayer of the man of god she gave a testimony that she got a healing immediately and now she can see very well praise the lord Hallelujah. and now we also have prince isaac who watched from the gs official facebook page and he said on saturday night he had his miracle he used to feel something moving on his head and that resulted into abdominal pains and persistent pains but on that Saturday, after the prayer of the servant of God, he got his miracle and now he's permanently delivered. Praise the Lord. And I will take this one also from the GS official Facebook page as well, from Bill Otanawaji, who says that he has had poor eyesight for a very long time. But after the prayer of the man of God as he connected on Facebook, his eyesight was miraculously restored. Praise the Lord. Now we have um, Iboma Groda Ogechi from River State. She said she has urinary hesitancy, which has lasted movement. for 24 years now. But after the prayer of the servant of God, the 24-year-old urinary hesitancy vanished away. Now she is completely whole. Praise the Lord. And now before we return to the state of Asia, we take a live testimony from Benin. Edo State, Nigeria. Benin, live. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Gladys Ezim of Oko Group, from Oko Group, Benin City, Edo State. I'm here to testify of what the Lord has done for me. In 2011, I was first diagnosed of having hepatitis B. And subsequent test in UBTH also proved hepatitis B. The first was in faith, Mediplex. Until April this year, the test C read positive. I was now referred to their special unit that handles such cases. I attended it in June. By God's grace, when our Father in the Lord came, uh, came up with divine connection, I connected. I said, God, there is nothing you can Several years. But it was recently I was directed to UBTH, the special unit. After the first uh, visit, they gave me one drug they call Livolin. I took the Livolin just for one week before our GS program, Divine Connection. After connecting, Okay, due to technical difficulties from Edo State, we have this live testimony coming all the way from Calabar. Calabar is coming up now live. Yes, Master Jesus. My name is Sobaste, coming from Atekong District in Calabar, Nigeria. I want to thank God for what the Lord has done for me during the Divine Connection Crusade. My brethren have suffered for 21 years of cough. All meditation taken to no avail. Anywhere I enter, they know me by the cough. Sister, I'm sorry. But I thank God on the last day of the crusade, I went home. I didn't even know when the cough vanished away. I slept as a baby. And up till now, I'm still sleeping as a baby. May the name of the Lord be good. 
glorified in Jesus says, Lord, also do something in this, uh, the beginning of this, uh, uh, the, the power of the cross. God did something. My sisters, not my brethren. Nobody knows what I'm passing through. It is only me alone, and my family world knows what I'm passing through. I suffer from BP from since 2000, from 99. 1990, 98, I've been suffering, taking drugs every day of my life. I don't mean BP high, high, even I go for tests every day. Uh, but Lord, the beginning of this crusade, God took it away. A problem of 21 years, oh, God took it away. A problem of high blood for 23 years, God took it away. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. God who did it for me. We will surely do it for every one of you if you believe in Jesus' name. Now we return to the state of us here. Those moving, remember Praise the Lord. from the man of God. Please, let's stay. Let's be obedient. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Our brother here is um, testifying of the goodness of God and his healing upon his life. Eight months left shoulder osteoarthritis healed by the power of god let's hear his testimony people of god praise the lord my name is from ecorosura group eco region acquired of state south south nigeria by the grace of god i was born again second september 1979 and god is still keeping me it was on the 16th of december 2020, I was going to the church to supervise church building work. Along the way, I got an accident. I didn't know myself. In fact, I passed on for one minute. And when I was helped by Samaritan, I didn't know myself. So after that, I was not able to lift up my left hand here. I spent drug, went for x-ray. I was asked to prepare to go to Inugu for 100,000 Naira surgery. During the divine signs and wonders for the needy at Calabar. I was interpreting the pastor's message to people in the church. I told them, prepare to get your miracle. And pastor mentioned my problem. And right from that day, see my hand. I can lift up. I can bend it. The Lord has done it. Church, praise the Lord. I pray that Papa Put your hand live together for Jesus. and bless the people. It's Amen. Gone and gone forever. The next testifier. As you are listening, check your own up. You will see that the miracle is there. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is the little boy who had a traumatic right eye injury. There was a pen that was accidentally stuck into his right eye. But in this, on this very grounds, he received a supernatural touch. Let's hear his testimony. Praise the Lord! My name is Sister Blessing Matthias. I'm from Mpo Group, Eket Region, Akwaibom State, Nigeria. The boy standing here is my son. He had a domestic accident in September while we were preparing for resumption. The pen that he was playing with at home struck the left side of the eye, pierced the black spot of the eye, and we had to go for operation. The doctor says that he cannot see with that left side of the eye, that he's doing operation just to rescue the right side, that he will be seen with one eye. As a mother, I was worried. I gave birth to this child with two eyes. How can my son be seen with only one eye? So after the operation, this child has been living on drugs, just eye drop, and each eye drop is 4,000. And every three, three hours interval, we put the eye drop. And he has been seen just partially. He could not see. He doesn't recognize letters and people on that eye. But I believe each crusade, each global crusade will go. I say, whenever the pastor say, place your hand on anywhere you have problem, do it. He will be putting it every time. In this particular one that we came, this crusade week, from that Sunday that we went for publicity, it was as if the eyes will come out, the eyeball will come out. He keep crying and complaining that the eye is paining him seriously. I did not know what to do. We even wanted to go back to, to the hospital. But I just called my group pastor. I said, let us come to the crusade, that God will heal him. So when we came in from Thursday, Friday, I was trying to observe him. Saturday, Sunday, 
He came to me, he said, the, the pens are no more there. That he can see with that eye. So I want to return all glory to God that has made my son to see with his two eyes. May I lay exalt in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now. Let's test the eye. Cover, cover the, the, the other eye that is okay. Little boy, how, what number is this? One. Number is this? Two. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Our God is great. The next testifier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ubo mutu mabasi. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ubo mutu mabasi. Ah, yeah, yeah. Put your hand together for Jesus. Look at them line up. Praise the Lord. Because of time, we will just introduce this set of people whom the Lord has done great and marvelous things for in this crusade grounds. They lifted up their faith in prayers and they believed the prayers of the servants of God. And the Lord healed them of their various problems. And because of time, they will not be able to give their testimonies individually. But we as a church, we glorify the name of the Lord for what he has done in their lives. Please let's put our hands together for Jesus, for what he has done in the lives of these brethren. Put your hand together for Jesus. Our God is great. One online. Yes, we still have more testimonies online, and um, we are going to take this one that is coming all the way from the GS official Facebook page. It's Onyabo Shiduzirim from Abuja. He said he was healed from a one-week constipation and discomfort that felt like he had bricks in his abdomen. He said that he attended the program, and after the prayers of the man of God, a God is healing miraculously. Praise the Lord. And now we have this sister, Sister Veronica. is testifying of a broken and diabetes that lasted for more than seven years. And after the prayer of the servant of God, this long-lasting problem, all the way from Germany, the power of God caught up with her, and she's completely healed and whole. Praise the Lord. And then we have this striking testimony coming in from Gombe State, Nigeria. There is this six-year-old boy who was born deaf and dumb. The prayer of the man of God last night, he could speak, he can now hear, and um, he's been tested there, as we see. He's been tested right now. <laughs> Indeed, the Lord is good and his mercies endures forever. Now we return to the state of Asia. Praise God. Let's stand up and glorify the name of the Lord. 